Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May. So, May 2020, Virgo, what do we got? For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do we have for Virgo? One card, please. For the month of May, what do we got? What do we got for May? For Virgo. Ooh! The door to romance. The door to romance. So it looks like they've got some, uh, these are hearts, but they remind me of butterflies. Somebody's got that key. 33, your prayers have been heard. Prayers have been answered. So the door is opening, okay? Romance is in the air. You're probably going to be feeling some sort of butterflies or some sort of emotion. Emotions are probably going to be all over the place. Somebody's got that key and they're opening up your heart. So somebody is going to be opening up your heart. They're gonna, they got the key to your heart by the looks of things. So, it's beautiful. All of a sudden that door opens. And they're opening, it's like they're really, they're, they're opening it or you're, they're opening your heart. Somebody is really, really, really opening your heart. This is all butterflies and hearts and loves and kisses and hugs and that kind of stuff. Beautiful. It's all lovey-dovey, lovey-dovey-dovey. Hmm. Romance is in the air, Virgo. Ooh, victory, success. This is a yes. You've persevered. You've come out on top. This is being recognized. The war is over. You can let your guard down now. You can let your guard down. Hmm. You're on the right track. You're headed towards victory. In some area, it looks like it's love. And as far as your love life goes, you're headed in the right direction. A hermit, which is you. Uh, this is enlightenment. You've been in a state of, of withdrawal, perhaps. Or you have withdrawn. Or you have gone within. But this is seeing the light. I think this is coming out of solitude. If you have been single, you have been alone. I don't think you're going to be alone much longer. Some of you may be going into a period of withdrawal. This is enlightenment. But this is this is becoming aware. I think you've become aware of something. You're seeing something. Ooh, you are definitely, something is no longer hidden. It's coming out of hiding. Coming out of hiding, socializing. I think that's what we got here. Being recognized for who you are. There's definitely a, a feeling of, of high consciousness as well. It's like you're, you have developed. You have developed spiritually. And now you're coming out of hiding. There's nothing to be hidden here. Um, something is being revealed with that moon card. This is the light being shown, seeing the lights. Something is being shown to you. You're seeing something clearly. Something is about to be revealed. It's a release of fear with that moon reversed. My goodness, if you've been alone, you're probably not going to be alone for much longer, if, especially if you're single. Um, obviously, if you're single, I don't think you're going to be single for much longer. For some of you, there's, there's a need for self-love. There's a need for self-love. You need to love yourself. If you need to... Uh, go your own way, then you need to go your own way. And I know that's different than the door to romance, but it feels like for some of you, this is retreat. This is retreat. This is go your own way. And this is like, for some of you, go your own way as well. There's a need to, you know, know your value and know your worth and put yourself first and not hide your truth and, and uh, express your true feelings. Perhaps you are, I mean, perhaps there's a new door that has opened that has made you realize 
uh, that you're not in a situation that you want to be in. Okay, because there's definitely a realization. This is a reality check. Somebody's about to get a reality check. And it may be because a new door opens. This is the answer to your prayers, 3-3. Three, three. Okay, your prayers have been heard. But this is a flood of emotion, the Queen of Cups. It's definitely an emotional time. I know that it is. With the Queen of Cups and the Moon, both in reverse. I think there's definitely, a, it's a very emotional time. You're probably feeling butterflies. You are. You're feeling something in your heart that you haven't felt in a while. And it's probably causing you to think, a need to think. Think, think, think. What am I going to do here? You know, your prayer, this is the answer to your prayers. What am I going to do? Um options yes you have options don't you multiple options so you're probably definitely thinking you're doing a lot of thinking this month you're thinking about what is real whether you want to be independent whether you don't whether you want to give up your independence whether you want to be in a commitment whatever or whether you want to be alone this is definitely a very emotional time I feel like maybe you, there's a separation or there's some sort of heartbreak and you're feeling some sort of deep sadness over uh, something, okay? But this is uh, confusion, unsure of what to do. So yeah, I feel like there is definitely some confusion here. You're confused and you're thinking a lot. You're thinking, thinking, thinking. This door has opened. What do I do? What do I do? So I think that you're not, you don't want to be foolish. I feel like you may, maybe you've been in a situation where you feel like you've been taken advantage of. Um, you don't want to fall flat, up, flat on your face. You don't want to make any foolish moves. Maybe it's bad timing. You you may be in a situation where, you know, you've met somebody, but you're already in some sort of commitment and it's bad timing and you're stuck and you're just not free yet. You're not free to go. You're not free to follow your heart. Um, so there's, there could be some tears. You may be feeling tearful if this, that part is for you. I feel like you need to make a difficult decision here. You need to base, base make a, a choice based on reality, based on what you really, really want. So I think that, um, somebody is having a hard time telling the truth, owning up to their truth, speaking the truth. And my advice is to be assertive. Tell the truth. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with the people that you are dealing with. Okay? Because they can probably see the truth. They probably know the truth. There's probably some truth that is going to be delivered this month. Okay? And it, and if and and I have to tell you is that you may, you could be dealing with somebody that the door to romance is opening for them, okay, or opened for them, or it's opening for you. It could go either way. This is definitely a message uh, that of conflict, okay. It's a message that brings conflict. It makes you think. It makes you wonder what, and somebody could get angry. They could get upset. This is a difficult uh, message. So this is receiving a message that is difficult. It's hard to deal with. Um, needing to be assertive, needing to express your truth, take the power in your hands, do what, do the right thing for you, look at things from a new perspective, be honest with yourself. So I think you're going to be making a difficult choice this month in regards to love, what you should do, where you should go. You don't want to be foolish. And I think that, you know, in the past you've been, you've been taken advantage of, and I feel like there's probably some fear. There's fear of letting your guard down, fear of, fear of going your own way, fear of, of, um, failure, right? But I, I don't, I don't think that you're going to fail. I think that you are capable of, of doing whatever it is that, you're thinking about doing. I think you got this new idea or this new opportunity that has really sparked your curiosity and you're really having a hard time um, choosing, okay? But I think that you're you're going to be forced to make some sort of decision. Um, hmm. You're going to, you think, 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 a lot of thinking going on, meditating, praying, uh, looking for answers, trying to make the right decision, not wanting to make a foolish decision. So I think that uh, you may be exhausted. You may be feeling like this is exhausting because you've been presented with this. You're caught off guard. I think this new connection has caught you off guard. Now, whether this connection is with you or the person that you're dealing with, there is a new love connection here that may have caught you off guard. And now you have to... 
you know, act with integrity and speak up because that's what the Queen of Swords is. The Queen of Swords speaks up. She protects herself. She does what's right for herself. And it's not about feelings. It's about the facts. It's about the truth. Okay. She's, she may seem a little brash, but she does what she has to do. It's a very intense time. Um, and this is also about it. the Queen of Swords is very independent. And so is it the Nine of Pentacles. So, uh, maybe this for some of you, if you are single, this is about giving up your independence. If you are in a coupled relationship, this is about becoming independent. So this is very much about independence. Do you want to be single or not? That is the question here this month. I feel as though um, you are going to have the power in your hands. You're going to have the power of choice in your hands. Okay, this is the power of choice right in your hands. The moon reverse is a reality check. It's being real. It's be, it's not hiding the truth, okay? So this is this is facing some sort of reality, okay? And releasing the fear, letting go of the fear and doing what's right for you. So I think that you've been fearful. You've been in a situation where, you know, you felt alone whether you were with somebody or not, whether you were single or you were with somebody. There's a lot of loneliness here. There's loneliness. And I think this loneliness hasn't really been serving you. Okay, it really hasn't been. And now you got this new opportunity um, to go down a new path. But there's still a level of fear. Fear, am I making the right decision? Am I making the right decision? So I, I think it's definitely a very emotional time. Um, Nine of Wands reversed. Now, this is avoiding challenge. That's what you've been doing, right? You've been staying in a loveless situation, perhaps, you know, whether you're single or not, or you're with somebody where there's not a lot of love because you don't want to deal with the challenge. Great personal fear. Great personal fear here. You got to overcome that fear. You got to take initiative. There's somebody that is very, very, very interested in you. They're probably going to communicate with you. They're going to try to get you to uh, do the right thing for yourself, to follow your heart. <laughs> but you are scared to follow your heart by the looks of things, fearful of following your heart. Fearful of failure, fearful of being left, right? Now this, the, the Knight of Cups reversed is, um, that's, that's your knight in shining armor that has nothing to offer, but that could be fear, you know, fearful that whoever is offering you this love isn't going to follow through. It is fear. It is fear. You got to let go of that fear. Even if that did happen. Even if that did happen, you're still capable of taking care of yourself. It's clear. But you may be confused. You may be confused. You may be... You are confused. There is somebody here. This is confusion. There's multiple options here. You have to choose wisely. Now, there's this is a card of consequences. You can choose to stay in a situation that is unrealistic, that is making you feel lonely. Or you can choose to do what's right for you and turn your back on this whole situation and go through that new doorway. So, endings lead to new beginnings. And that is what we have here. So, we have an ending that leads to a new beginning. And I think this whole thing has been an accident. It's like you, this is like accidentally in love or accidentally falling for somebody. Um, divine timing. It's time. Now this is uh, evolved. You're not the same person that you used to be. It's time to compromise and blend to create harmony in your life. Now, this comes after the death card. So something is ending and, and it's ended for a reason. This is a purpose. This is a reason. This is a change. Life is always changing and evolving. 
Yes. I mean, you need to be grounded, but you also need to be fluid. You need to accept change. Allow and accept change. And this is a change. So I feel like you have been stubborn. You have been struggling to let go of something that has been keeping you stuck. But you have changed. Your whole life has changed. You've already, you, you're not even the same person you were when you got involved with this relationship that is no longer on the same page. You know, there's no love here. It's lonely. It's just not fulfilling you. So now this is this is um you've been waiting you've been you've been probably praying you've been you've been uh, you know asking for answers and they've brought in you something they've brought in you something lovely But now you have to allow and accept it It's right there in front of you But this is the huge struggle it's a huge struggle to uh let go of your ego and swallow your pride and let go of whatever it is that you're hanging on to because of society what everybody else is going to say So we have somebody here that is not learning their lesson hanging on to something when they really want something else they're looking for something better now that they've been brought in something better you need to take it It's, you have to stay true to yourself. So it's time to stay true to yourself. Be honest with yourself. You must struggle through this life change. Stop resisting it. So I believe that you um, have an opportunity to exchange something that is no longer making you happy for something better but it's not going to be easy to stand up for yourself and do what's right for you i feel as though this has all happened for a reason they have opened a new door <laughs> and you need to stop ignoring it You need to be honest, you need to be assertive, and you need to speak your truth. So Virgo, I think in May, some sort of truth that has been hidden is going to be revealed. And this could be your partner. Your partner could be ending something. If you were in a coupled relationship. Because it's time. It's time. Or it could be you. It's time for an exchange. You have evolved. And you're about to get something better. This is something that you have prayed for. Perhaps in your time of loneliness. When you were lonely. When you were doing all that thinking. When you were in isolation. Maybe you were subconsciously praying for this. And well here it is. So. I feel as though. Uh, there is there is something coming. That is either going to break you free. Or put you in something new. Or both. You could get professional advice from somebody. That tells you. You know that you have to accept reality. I feel as in May, when you come out of isolation, in May, when we come out of isolation, 
you are going to be given an option maybe you're going to be even seeking professional help to break you free because you want to go through that new door there is a new door here there's a new door to romance and there's exchanging one thing something for something better so I think when isolation ends you are going to be giving delivering some with the page of uh, swords under there delivering somebody a difficult message And I think that you've been avoiding it and avoiding it and avoiding it and avoiding it. But I feel like it's over. I think the avoiding of the truth is over. There's going to be an exchange. Okay? There is going to be an exchange. It's time. You can't hold on to something that is loveless. Because there's an opportunity for love here. And you've thought about it all that you need to think about it time is time is up time is now time is now so virgo i feel as though i mean it's it's pretty clear it's pretty clear that in may when you come out of isolation you're going to have a whole new perspective on life this is a whole new perspective you may have been confused but now what do we got two of cups i want love And love's going to be right there looking at you. Good luck.